The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. All right, uh, Michael, if you would open us up with a statement about today's game. Well, when you get out hit um, was it 18 to 3, 19 to 3, it's not going to work out well in your favor. We talked before the game that uh, we were taking too many strikes and then we were getting in the hole and swinging at bad pitchers. And that whole game, we took too many strikes and we swung at bad pitchers when we were behind in the count. And uh, uh, after every batter kept doing it, I'd go to the dugout and I'd be like, what did she do on her first pitch? And they'd be like, she took a ball down the middle. I said, what'd she do to uh, make an out? And they were like, she swung at a bad pitch. But, you know, if we don't learn from those mistakes and fix it in the future, it's just going to be the same thing over and over and over. And that's what I told them after the game. Uh, what, do you, what can you say about this run that this team had, though, to battle the way they did through the SAC tournament to get uh, this program's first NCAA tournament win since 2015? I know it's not the note that you want to go out on, but uh, you are one of 64 teams playing in, in May. Not many can say that. I mean, they're a good bunch of kids, and, you know, we were having fun, and that's key. You know, anytime that you can, you know, have fun and win ball games, uh, you're going to get momentum. And we had some momentum going. I mean, I, you know, after that first inning, I was like, man, how do you beat a team, you know, six to nothing in the conference tournament? And then uh, it's six to nothing before I get an out in the first inning. I mean, we caught everything. Hats off to LR. I mean, it didn't matter what I threw. We threw all, every pitcher we got, and they just stroked it the whole game. But they stroked it the game before that because my girls were sitting over there watching them when they were playing Georgia College, like, man, they're hitting it tonight. And I was like, well, we got to come out and, you know, and set the tone. And, you know, we didn't do it. Uh, I mean, touch on that a little bit. Uh, just how hot was that team that you faced tonight? <laughs> I've watched softball for a lot of years, whether it be D1, D2, D3, NAI, high school, so pitch, I have never seen a team get on a streak and just kill the ball like they did for nine innings in the two games they just played. Um, how can you use this as fuel and motivation uh, as you head into the offseason? Well, we talked a little bit after the game. I didn't want to keep them too long, uh, but uh, I just touched on it a little bit and said, you know, We've got to learn from this. You know, I've been saying we got to learn, we got to learn, we got to learn. But look, we just got smacked in the mouth and we didn't do anything about it. So I said, you know, over the summer, you guys have got to learn to hit bad pitches good. There might be a time when an umpire is calling a ball six inches off the plate that we've got to go out there and get. We've got to learn to hit that pitch. We got to learn to hit the ball over the middle. We got to learn to hit the inside pitch. It's you guys have got to learn to do that over the summer and over the fall so we can get better and be a better hitting team in the spring. I, we return, you know, we lose Top and Pritchett, but uh, we return the whole team. Uh, we still got Lacey. We got a lot of talent, but, you know, you got to hit the ball. Uh, what can you say about what Kristen Top and Katie Pritchett have meant to this program over the last four years? Uh, Top is, she, she brings so much heart to every game, to every practice. The kid doesn't have an off button. I mean, uh, her and Leah were phenomenal in the middle all year long. They made great plays, and they're just, their motor never stops running. And then Katie, boy, did she get on a roll in the uh, conference tournament. We probably wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for Katie. And uh, she hurt her hamstring a little bit, and, uh, you know, that didn't really help us any. That last game, we were actually, until she went and took uh, some swings in the cage before we started, we wasn't even planning on playing her.